Hello, this is Sandra Osterberis bringing you a few words of Bible from the heart of Biblical Israel. This week's Torah portion is Ki The beginning of the portion continues many of the worlds of war that were already um, from the previous portion and then goes into many, many different rules of law, of, of law, all kinds, uh, uh, covering a broad spectrum of ordinary life. Uh, and I just wanted, I chose three different rules that I wanted to focus on that I think give us very interesting messages today. Okay, so the first one is in uh, the very end of chapter 21. If a person, verse, uh, I'm beginning in verse 22, verse 22 and 23. Um, here we have a situation where someone has uh, been found guilty of a capital crime and he has been hanged. And... Uh, you think of this person, think today of uh, the pictures we've seen from films and from newsreels from Tehran, for example, where, of course, they're hanging people right and left for all kinds of silly things, uh, mostly people they feel is a threat to the regime. Um, and you see them hanging uh, up in on cranes in the streets of Tehran and being left there for days to be mocked and shamed. So here we have a situation of a person that is uh, guilty of a capital crime, which of course, a biblical law is extremely, very rare and very strict. And a, let's say he murdered somebody, okay? And he has been hanged and they hang him up, okay? What does it say? Do not leave his body on the tree, but bury him that very same day. So even, and, and the reason is given for this is because, um, that that um, when you see it, it, it's a very interesting thing. It says because um, it, you see in him the curse of God. Okay, w what exactly is going on here? And this is something that has become fundamental to Jewish thought. Um, a person, a human being, every human being has been created in the image of God. We know that from Genesis. And even if a person has done an evil thing and deserves to be killed. Um, we need to still treat him and his body with respect because he was created in the image of God. And therefore, you hang him, you leave him up. Once he's dead, you take him down and you bury him. Okay, you bury him on that very same day. Now, in Jewish tradition and Jewish law, we say, of course, if that is how we should be treating the worst criminals among us, of course, we treat every human being like that as well. And therefore, in Jewish tradition, when someone dies, we bury them the very same day. And it is only, and that is seen as the ultimate respect for the deceased and for God. Now, there are some countries where we have to bury them the next day because of that country's laws. And therefore, I know in the United States, for example, we bury only the next day in most cases. But here in Israel, thank God, we've gone back to our original laws and people are buried the same day unless there are extenuating circumstances. If they're waiting for a child to come back from uh, from another country and wants to be there for the funeral so then you may wait for the next day to allow them to return but the ideal is to bury the person right away um, another uh, uh, another very interesting law in chapter 22 verse 6 if you come upon an a, an, a nest of birds and eggs okay and you want those eggs for whatever reason you want the eggs you want the little chicks whatever it is Okay, um, you cannot take those eggs while the mother is sitting on them. Okay, you have to wait or you have to send the bird away. And only when the bird is far from the nest are you able to take those eggs. Now, this is a very odd rule. You would think like, what does it matter? And here God is teaching us it matters. If we have to care, in the same way in the previous verse, uh, the few, previous lesson, if we have to care for the respect the body of the worst criminal in society, we have to, of course, respect the body of the deceased, of the ordinary person. And here it's the same. If we have to show uh, uh, concern, care for the feelings of a bird, not to take, and it's legitimate to take the eggs. It is not a human being. You are not kidnapping someone's children. It is normal and ordinary for a human being to take eggs, 
to use them, okay? However, don't do it in front of the mother so that it will cause her anguish. How much more do we learn from this when we need to do something, where we want to do something uh, with children or with whoever? We always have to make sure we are not causing a mother anguish. We have to go out of our way, even when we're doing something good and necessary for the children, we have to go out of our way not to cause the mother anguish. And what a deep concern for the most natural human feelings of a mother or of any individual for that um, for that matter and what is the what is the reward for taking care that it will benefit you and you will have a long life which is of course one of the most important ultimate blessings that we can get and I will have the next verse after that seems so prosaic so ordinary so common sense and yet God put it here to teach us an important lesson when you build a new house place a fence around your roof what are we saying i mean of course it's obvious when you have something that where somebody could get hurt and in those years we're talking about flat roofs okay somebody would go up to the roof and even today you see in some of the arab villages where there are flat roof people going up on the roofs and they're hanging the laundry up there etc there are never fences up there okay and here god tells us put up a fence now you could say it's my house i'll be careful god says no that's not good enough you have to first of all look out for your own life because you may not always be so careful but you also have to make sure that anyone entering your property how many times do we hear in other legal systems where someone says well i don't have to be careful uh, about what's on my property they shouldn't come onto my property here god says no anything on your property you have a responsibility to make sure it is safe if you have a pit in the middle of your property, put a fence around it so someone is not going to fall. If you have a rooftop or a tower of some sort that someone could easily climb up, whether rightly or wrongly, because he wants to see into the distance, make sure there's a fence so that he cannot fall off. And in this way, God teaches us in all of these examples that I have shown, teaches us the importance of human life, of human dignity, and of the respect that we should be giving to our fellow human beings. Have a wonderful weekend and Shabbat Shalom. I hope you enjoyed that video and we'd like to be sure you're getting all of our video content. So just click on the subscribe button below as well as on the notification bell. And that way you will have easy access to all our material. We look forward to staying in touch with you. God bless you and have a wonderful day.